What's up? I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light e reader. E readers are still very popular, and with the holidays now upon us, many people are considering giving these as gifts or using them as an improvement over reading on a smartphone. The Simple Touch with Glow Light actually adds a light as an improvement to other e readers, thereby allowing you to use it in nighttime conditions. But should you actually run out and buy one of these? Here's our review. The Simple Touch with Glow Light comes with a 6 inch anti glare touchscreen with a native resolution of 800 by 600. It has 16 level grayscale and adjustable text with 7 font sizes and 6 font styles. The device comes with 2 gigabytes of internal storage that should hold up to 1000 books, which can be further expanded by micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. The e reader supports full Wi Fi and can access free Wi Fi connections in all Barnes and Noble and more than 24,000 AT&T hotspots. The device is also rated to provide a full month of battery life with the glow light turned on, or more than two with the glow light turned off. Now, speaking of the glow light, we've used a number of lights with other e-readers in the past during night reading, and we've typically found that these third-party devices provide a top-down spotlight effect that needs to be aimed at the center of the screen to be effective. The glow light, however, provides even lighting across the whole screen, meaning that you don't need to tweak the brightness settings unless you want to choose the strength of the light itself. Similarly, we found that the battery life of the glow light was exactly as advertised. You supposedly will get a month of life at half an hour of use per day with the glow light on, or much more with the feature off. With mixed use of the light on and off, we were able to easily reach the advertised month of battery life stat, and that was with prolonged reading sessions. It's always great when a product happens to work exactly as advertised. We like the light weight of the glow light nook, which lost half an ounce from the original simple touch while still keeping the exterior dimensions. This meant that we could hold the e-reader for longer periods, which is always a bonus. On top of that, we were pleased at the fact that the glow light provided the option of page term buttons and touchscreen swiping to advance book pages. Not only does it give flexibility to the reader to determine how they want to use their device, but it makes it much easier for newcomers that have just picked it up and want to know how it works. We were also pleased with the e-ink screen, which was crisp and clear, although it demonstrated less contrast than the previous version, so black tones weren't as black as before. This was probably due to the anti-glare and glow light mechanism, but we appreciated the option to select between seven sizes and six fonts, as well as three margin settings and three line space choices, allowing us to read however we liked. Fortunately, we appreciated a lot of the extras for the glow light that you wouldn't necessarily expect from e-readers. For instance, if you happen to be near a brick and mortar Barnes and Noble store, you can get free Wi-Fi, tech support, discounted eBooks, and even free access to virtually any eBook for an hour a day. What's more, you can easily connect with friends thanks to its social networking functions, which includes posting your progress to Facebook and Twitter. The glow light will even let you lend books to friends, assuming that publishers provide that functionality to what you're reading. Plus, you've always got a ton of space easily available via a micro SD card, so you don't have to worry about micromanaging your library. So what didn't work so well with the glow light? Well, while we like the glow light feature, we'd have to say that it's one of the things that can be somewhat polarizing or possibly annoying to some users. Some people in the office thought that the built-in light made the experience similar to reading on an LCD monitor, even though the glow light design is completely different than LED backlighting for these screens. We noticed that even at the lowest setting, the lighting can still be a bit too bright and it can leave visual artifacts on your eyes after you turn the screen off. The same can be said if you've got ambient light and the glow light on, because the greenish tint will cause your eyes to have to adjust to the color after a few seconds. We also think that the library borrowing functionality really needs to be updated. While checking out a book is great, you shouldn't have to use a browser to select a book at your local library, which assumes that they actually do ebook lending, then download the book, set up an Adobe Digital Edition DRM account, and sideload the book onto the device. Tablets can do this infinitely faster via apps, and it's about time that Barnes & Noble made this a user-friendly feature. We get that Barnes & Noble wants users to buy books instead of borrowing them, but if they want people to constantly use this device, they have to make the feature easier or eliminate it entirely. We reviewed the original Nook Simple Touch a few months ago and found it to be an impressive e-reader. The Glowlight version merely refines a lot of its features, resulting in a lighter device that's very easy to use, has incredible battery life, and a uniform screen light that's very easy to adjust under low light or nighttime conditions. It can result in some eye fatigue for some users, and the library lending feature is still way too complicated to be used on a regular basis. But these issues really should not detract from the fact that this is an excellent addition to the Nook product line, which is why we decided to give the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch with Glowlight e-reader a 4.5 out of 5. 
For the latest coupons and deals on e-readers like the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light, be sure to go to techbargains.com. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.